Hello guys, after talking about Laravel Livewire from my point of view with my Livewire kit and my ideas on my courses, I decided to look at the market, what other people have released around Livewire and on top of Livewire. So I searched Livewire with github.com to find interesting projects, repositories and tools. Let's take a look what I found and this video will be rapid fire of links that can be useful if you use Livewire. First, you should take a look at the Livewire itself, its repository. It's not just the Livewire itself, but a few plugins. So probably the most practically useful in my opinion is Sortable, which can allow you to sort with drag and drop easily. But then there are a few more plugins to use Turbolinks and then to add support for using view components within Livewire. Not sure why would you need to do that, I haven't done it in my career, but there is a plugin for that. Next, I want to mention probably one of the most popular tools on the market of Livewire these days is Filament Admin Panel. It's not just Admin Panel, it's kind of like a kit with Admin Panel that uses Form Builder, Table Builder and a few plugins, so it's kind of its own ecosystem. And recently Dan Harron tweeted about the release of version 2 of Admin Panel. On my channel I have a quick review of version 1, a bit older, but to get the idea how it works you can watch that video, I will link that in the description below. And also all of the tools that are mentioned in this video, the links to them will be in the description. Let's move on. Next, we have two components branded under Wire Elements, authored by Philo Hermans from the Netherlands, and one of them is Wire Elements Model. So you can easily show the model window. Let's take a look at the official Twitter with a quick 30 second clip. So I will show part of that. So when you click a button, you can open the model window, then you can close it. And if you take a look at the documentation, it's something like this. So there's model component. And then to open that, you just emit the event of open model or other parameters are used. And there's a lot of syntax things that you can add. There's a child model as well. I probably will create a separate video sometime reviewing that one with its capabilities. So it's at wire elements model. Another popular live wire component from the same author Phila is Spotlight. And I do have video review about that. So I will just show a brief clip from that review how it works. So on any page at any moment, you could click some shortcut combination and call this window to enter something, to search for something, or any other ways that you can use that spotlight, for example, for search or for any other command. And then there's a parameter to search for, and you can find, for example, a user here. So this is Laravel Spotlight by Wire Elements. It's really easy to integrate, actually. You need to create your own Spotlight command. Inside of that, it's kind of like Laravel code. You execute, it's kind of like a job. And then you just kind of attach that command or assign that command on the event that you actually want to use it for. Next, we have this guy, Andres Santibanias, who has three, at least three popular repositories around Livewire, which is Livewire Calendar, Livewire Charts, and Livewire Select. Let's take a look one by one. Livewire Calendar, and I have a video review of that, and I will link that in the description below. So this is a calendar with drag and drop capability. So for example, you can drag events like this in this GIF preview. This is one thing by Andres. Another one is Livewire Charts. Let's take a look. Is there any preview here? Yeah, there is. And you can take a look at that GIF. So it's like a normal Laravel chart, but with Livewire. And there's also a demo repository you can click around. So it all comes down to the specific components of, for example, line chart or pie chart or column chart or area chart. And this is kind of a rough syntax how you would create that chart. So that's number two by Andres. And then let's take a look at Livewire select. If we scroll down, we have a select of depending dropdown. So for example, you can choose brand and then you can choose a model and it's all pretty easy to integrate. So you have Livewire select with options. And then at the bottom, let's take a look at an example of get depending value, for example. So this component is mostly useful, I think so, at least in my experience for depending dropdowns where you can choose one value and the other value list will automatically refresh. Next, we have Wire UI, and this list, by the way, is in no particular order of popularity or anything. Wire UI is a library of components to empower your Laravel and Livewire application development. And this comes from this guy, Pedro Oliveira, so you can follow him on Twitter. And if you look at the docs, there are various components, so form components, for example, to use in your projects. And here's, for example, the code X input for icon user. For example, two icons input in the code would be icon user write icon pencil and a lot of other options around input. If, for example, we go to daytime picker 
and look at the code. X daytime picker would be your solution for the wire UI version of your element. So you can take a look at more documentation and follow wire UI on GitHub or the author on Twitter. Next, we have three examples of data tables in Livewire. And one of the latest one, but quite popular is Livewire Power Grid, which looks like this. If you take a look at the GIF, so you can filter, you can search, you can export and a lot of other features in the Power Grid. It works with Bootstrap 5 and Tailwind 2 and a lot of features are inside. So this is one of the options. Another option is from a guy, a well-known guy in Laravel community, Anthony Rappa, RappaSoft. It's Livewire, Laravel Livewire tables. Here's a screenshot of the design or another design. So there's dark mode as well. And there's also Bootstrap 4, Bootstrap 5 and Tailwind. And the basic example is something like this. So you define the columns and you get the table as a result. And a third option that I found for data tables may be less known and seems quite a lot of issues and pull requests. So I would maybe classify that as abandoned package because of that. But also you can try it out. Livewire data tables. There's also live demos. So you can try it out. Maybe it will satisfy your personal needs. It's Medic One Systems Livewire data tables. And of course, at the end of the video, I will mention my own set of components, Livewire Kit. So currently there's 35 components. And if you have any more idea for components that are missing from the market, shoot in the comments below. And also, if you know other existing components that I missed in this video, also add in the comments. I hope you will like Livewire as much as I do, and you will use it in your projects. And see you guys in other videos.